the West Ranch Wildcats had an explosive offensive night. They dominated the court, and they left the Centurions in the dust with the 40-point difference. Now, with the victory over Saugus, the Wildcats have a 6-0 record for the season, and with 26 wins in a row. Coming right into the game, Wildcats' Andrew Meadow bypasses Saugus' Peter Burton for this two-handed dunk. Not too far after that, it didn't take too long for Wildcats' Jazz Gardner to find Meadow for another two-handed dunk, making the score 8-0. During the second quarter, Saugus putting some points on the board, Landon O'Brien with this nice dribble behind the back for a layup to help the Centurions catch up to West Ranch. Minutes after that, Wildcats' Daryl Morris finding Meadow for another dunk, making this his third one for the night and putting the score at 44-17. Just a minute before the half, Wildcats' James Evans finds Gardner in the pain for a two-handed slam of his own for the night. Right after the half, Saugus' Peter Burton tries to go in for an easy layup, but is immediately denied by Wildcats' Jazz Gardner. West Ranch goes on to end the game with a final score of 95-59. to I feel like it was a good win. You know, we came out and just uh, came out really strong from the start. I feel like they really couldn't do anything with us. We came out like 20-0, so, I mean, we just had a good bounce back win. Shifting the focus to next week, the Wildcats look to take on Valencia on the Vikings' home court. And their goal is to repeat as what they did on Saugus' on Friday night. For Canyon's News, I'm Kyle Kamoto.